Greetings, Science Maximites. Welcome to Science Max Experiments at Large. My name is Phil, and today on Science Max, we're going to be looking at gravity. What goes up must come down. Today... Gravity is the force that makes things fall <laughs> towards the ground. But just because it's a force of nature doesn't mean that we have to listen to it. No! Today on Science Max, experiments at large, we're going to use everything in the power of science to defy gravity. Ha <laughs> ha! We are going to be making a hoop glider. Now, hoop gliders may not look like much, but they fly just like paper airplanes. Woohoo! And here's how you can make a hoop glider. Here's how you can make a hoop glider all your own. This is what you need. Index cards, scissors, straw, ruler, pencil, and of course, science tape, which is just like regular tape, except you use this kind of tape for science. So here's how you do it. Take your index card and cut it into three equal lengths. Take two strips and you take your science tape and you tape those two strips and make a hoop out of it. And with the small strip, you want to make another hoop. Now, what you want to do is take your straw. Now, this straw has a little scoop at the end, and that's not very aerodynamic, so we're going to get rid of that. Ooh, maybe it was kind of aerodynamic. All right, now that we've got the straw, you have to align the hoop and the straw together. So here's what I like to do. Take some science tape and stick it on the straw and then align it so that it's perfectly straight, and then stick it on. Looks straight to me, all right? The small hoop also has to be perfectly aligned with the first hoop. So again, put the tape on the strap first, then align them up, and then start looking down through it, to make sure it's aligned. There. Once you have it all taped together, you're done your hoop glider. And it flies just like a paper airplane. Pew! 